Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to Hypox Civilization. Thank you, sir. What is a computer to Chinese? To the Chinese, at the civilian level, it is a means for increasing learning, study, and research. At the government level, it is, of course, a projection of economic power. And for the military, it is a means to protect the Chinese state. So it's a weapon? It could be used as a defensive as well as an offensive weapon system, yes. In 2013, you said, quote, I don't care who you are or what government you represent. You have all been hacked, period. Absolutely true, regardless what, of who you are. What about in 2025? In 2025, that's a foregone conclusion. Certainly, regardless of the government, regardless of the geography, this still remains true. You enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps in 1981. In 1983, quote, I went to China and studied Chinese, not in China, but in the People's Republic of China. Why? Well, <clears throat> two reasons. One, I thought it was necessary to go to a country that uh, the United States had just opened diplomatic relations under Kissinger, Kissinger and Nixon, President Nixon. It was important to go there. I grew up overseas, so it was not a, an adventure, but a necessary requirement as being a U.S. Marine. I actually had to apply to the Commandant of the Marine Corps to get out of the Marine Corps to go to China. And I remember the gunnery sergeant calling me on the phone and he's like, Hegestad, why would you want to go to China? Are you becoming a communist? And I said, no, Gunny. I want to study the potential adversarial ways so that we can become stronger as a U.S. Marine Corps. How close did you get to understanding the Chinese? Even today, 43 years later, I'm no closer than I was in 1981. Everything that Chinese do politically from a hacker's perspective, military and ideological revolves around them. They are the center of the universe. If you are not Chinese, you are a foreigner, period. You are still a foreigner. Absolutely, yes. And it is rather unique. I deferentially refer to myself with my Chinese friends that I am a foreigner. I am not an American. I am certainly not of any other ethnicity. I am a foreigner to them because they are indeed the Middle Kingdom. You'll note in the inscription of the book that you have uh, off to your left that indeed they are the Middle Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And everything else is subservient to them. Because of this. Is that right? Yes, precisely. May I explain? Please. So Zhong means middle. Uh -huh. And this is the simplified version of Guo which is the king or queen and the four borders of his or her country and the riches which they protect, the national sovereignty. And that is the way that the Chinese regard historically any country, regardless of their geography. We are all subservient to them in their mind's eye. Why? Well, because they are the center of the earth historically, uh, culturally, linguistically. They are superior to every other country in their view. Is there a way to change that view? No, it will never change. Quoting your words in uh, October 2017, and you said, my experience with Chinese is they will be genuine if you ask them a direct question. What kind of direct questions did you ask Wang Tao? This was a unique experience in Taiwan mm -hmm. because gathered around him were a series of three young men. One of the men was wearing the Eagle Globe and Anchor, which is represented by my Thai clasp. Mm -hmm. To me, that represents the U.S. Marine Corps. I asked him to turn the shirt inside out. And he mentioned, along with his colleagues, they pointed at me and said, oh, this is the man who wrote the book on us. And I said, yes, I understand what you're saying because you're speaking in Chinese. And of course, they ignored me because they didn't want to recognize it. Mm -hmm. And they said to Eagle Wan, they said, Eagle Wan, you know why you are no longer one of us. And I thought to myself, why did they say that? And then I remembered, he had worked for an American company. When you work for an American company as a Chinese hacker, you are excommunicated and no longer welcome in that world. Mm -hmm. They then went on to say, Bill, recognizing me, we took your first book and bought several copies of it. We didn't, but the Chinese military did. And I said, well, wait a minute. I thought my book was banned in the People's Republic of China. And they're like, no, we have copies of it. When you had the chance to talk to the hackers, or the former hackers from China, were you sure that you were not just allowed by the Chinese government to talk to them? <laughs> 
that's always the possibility, certainly within any discipline, whether it is cyber espionage or academia or literature, uh, one always has to consider those possibilities. The Chinese do everything for a purpose. So your question is quite empirically important. Yes, absolutely. Things happen for a reason in that particular case. Did you ever found out that you were just, you know, misled or led to a way they wanted you to lead? Oh, always one must consider that to be the, the, true, the truth. And did you figure it out? No. So you do not know if you were misled or not? I, you know, misled is a, a definition of, you know, counterintuitive understanding of one's view of things. I would never admit that, perhaps, but I know in my mind's eye that that's probably true, yes. We commonly compare countries based on the number of nuclear warheads mm -hmm. or the size of the conventional army. Could you please make a rank of some of the states of the world speaking about their cyber potential, cyber defensive and offensive possibilities? Yes, I spoke about this interestingly in Moscow, Russia, when I was a guest of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. A couple of years back? A few years back, yes. And I gave a cross comparison. And the way that I rank them in my experience, um, honorably, I would say that the U.S. is number one. Mm -hmm. Number two would be the Russians, but it's not for military unless the, the Russian government wants them to. They will hack for economic gain unless it benefits the Russian state. Third would be the Chinese as it relates to economic espionage or in the event of critical infrastructure compromise, which may or may not have occurred here locally recently, but I wouldn't know that. And then, of course, third would be the Iranians, and they are still mystified and angry that no one recognizes them as the center of the Middle East. So their uh, hackers are demonstrably taking the initiative to show that they are Persia. Mm -hmm. And then fourth would be the North Koreans, the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea. And they have found their way to be one of compromising using ransomware attacks mm -hmm. and certainly planting workers within the U.S. infrastructure uh, from a technology uh, advancement perspective. It's a unique world out there now. When will be China number one in this list? <sighs> It depends on who you ask. I'm asking you. You're asking me? I would say that they already are. You just said that they are in the, in, in the third place. I know, but that is from the, an American perspective. If I put it on from the Chinese perspective, which we are all subservient, I would say that they are number one. You, pers you personally? Yes. Number three, number one, China? Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> And the reason for this is uniquely because of the uh, two things are happening. Politically in the U.S., the U.S. government is eroding our capacity to actually defend our country. And with that comes the advancement of hackers or compromising computer, computer systems and the national infrastructure. So you personally believe that uh, the strongest in cyber are right now the Americans, but the China is not only catching up, but rolling over? Yes. One must not also forget, although the Israelis are preeminently experts in both offensive and defensive, They're more localized in terms of why they compromise the systems that they do mm -hmm. geographically. Interestingly, from an economic perspective, as you're familiar with different co companies that are out there, they are able to hack any device. If you have a mobile phone or anything like that, that would be their purpose. Mm -hmm. 